Wing, no good. Now Butler's got Cole from outside the arc. Lead pass one. White, flush, Purdue leads. 8 0 run by the Boilermakers, 28 27. Instead of the reversal, they go back to Watt, and he stuffs it through! Gordon Watt, a sophomore from Evanston, Illinois, a transfer from Boston College with his most emphatic basket as a Purdue Boilermaker. Well, Gordon Watt with a wake-up call, not only for his Boilermakers, but also for the scrap. Mr. Electric kind of stuck uh, as a result of the announcer in high school. He said every time I came in the game, it was like the fans and it was like electricity. Oh, oh what a block by Gordon! What? Where did he come from? the game of basketball for many reasons. It holds you accountable. You know, you know, you get out of what you put into it. The basketball has always kind of been like a man. Like it's kind of hard to put a word on it because I had many nights where my basketball has been my pillow. I mean, you just you just did a lot for me. And just, just kind of looking back on where it's taken me thus far, you know, as a kid, being in this gym right here, I didn't, I never thought it could take me all on the other side of the globe. You know, I can be in an Asian culture one week, I can be in uh, experiencing European food another week, uh, you know, all over the world. Growing up, competing against my, my older sister, she was pretty much like the, uh, Dominant player in the household, dominant player in the uh, neighborhood. We were just competing against her, and uh, the late nights. And when I, I remember the, when I finally beat her. That kind of was like the spark, you know, to uh, my competitive drive. Like ah, I beat her. Now I'm beating everybody. I've been called G, you know, because I was named after my father, and you know, people nicknamed him G. So as a as a child, my, probably my first word or uh, first uh, time somebody referred to me as Little G, but my name is Gordon, you know what I'm saying? So you can kind of, you know, uh, misinterpret a nickname or something like that. I remember like high school, I, did, I really didn't, college was so far off, you know, or so beyond my grasp that uh, I didn't necessarily think about college until I started being recruited for college. I was being recruited as a freshman in high school 
And I remember just coming into the gym and in a varsity practice, at the end of a varsity practice, and, and you know, looking at these guys like, you know, I, I can play with these guys. And they're looking at me like, what's up with this guy? Or looking at me maybe like, uh, I wouldn't say that, like, sort of be like I'm special or something like that, but they were looking, cause I don't know, like, my, the stack of letters were kind of big. <laughs> Above all else, that's the one thing I want to be remembered as, as a competitor. I came to compete every night as a defensive player. The offensive player is going to have a tough night when I'm on them. Uh, and offensively, uh, they're going to have to guard me you know, every night. When Gordon White steps on the basketball court, players, coaches, fans can expect electricity. Left side over to Gordon Watt. Watt drives baseline to the hoop. He's fouled and it goes. Gordon Watt is at a ball game today for the Boilermakers. Swing it right side. Gordon Braver. Watt kills the drive. The leaves three. it for Watt. It's going. Three. Good. Tie game. Green has six points. Watt will shoot it. Gets it. He's going to negotiate the pick. He loses focus for some reason. He doesn't think. Nickers really he should have figured some things out against the ball. Jumping in for the rebound. He's took it back. So the Lakers of the late 80s compared to this is that shot. Berger probing at Gordon Watt telling him to shoot the shot. And he does for three. <laughs> Carl Leonard has been saying, hey, that's your shot. Gordon Watt is very sure this versatility. He takes one of the toughest matchups, I think, in not only the Big Ten, but nationally. What a move by Watt spinning. Right now, I'm in the process of launching my non for profit. Uh, it's mentorforchange.org. And it's pretty much just trying to, uh, you know, give the, uh, the, the youth in the community a positive outlet. You know, provide them some type of positive reinforcement. You know, the same positive reinforcement, positive energy that people put into me, I want to give back and put into them.